Hello, my name is Amanda Hendricks, and I'm the Lead Procurement Account Executive in the Department of General Services Office of State Procurement. I'm going to be walking you through the eMaryland Marketplace Advantage, known as EMMA, Quick Reference Guide, or QRG, for browsing and filtering contracts in EMMA. All of the QRGs for the EMMA system can be found at procurement.maryland.gov backslash EMMA-QRGs. This QRG has been created for procurement officers and buyers who want to know how to browse and filter existing contracts in EMMA. Step one of the QRG on how to browse and filter contracts in EMMA instructs you to log into EMMA and type in your username and password. You're more than likely going to have single sign-on capabilities in the live EMMA production. However, we are using the training environment for this video, so single sign-on is not an option. Reminder that for best results, you should access EMMA via Google Chrome. For step two of the QRG, once you are logged in from the home screen, go to the top of the screen, select contracts, and then select browse contracts. The list that appears contains all of the contracts in the EMMA system. Step three of the QRG instructs you to select the project you want by clicking on the pencil icon, contract ID number, or contract title to access your project. For this example, my project is entitled AH Emergency Test 2. And if I click on the title, you will see that it pulls up the information in a separate pop-up window that I can review. But let's say that your contract is not the first one listed on the browse contract screen. So I'm going to go back to that screen and show you how to narrow the list and make it easier to search using filters. So once you're back on this page, you will see a list of contracts in EMMA. The next section of the QRG shows the different filters for this page and how they can quickly help you find what you're looking for. You can use one filter or a combination of several. Applied filters display below the filter fields and you can click the X to the right of a filter to remove it. There are four main methods to filter your searches, and they are by keywords, contracting entity, procurement officer or buyer, or vendors. You can also click on this checkbox here to the left of the search button that says limit to my scope. If you click this, it will bring up all of the contracts that you are re responsible party for. So if I do that and hit search, you can see all of the projects that I've created in this training environment. Okay, and for me to remove the limit to my scope, I can just click on the X next to the filter here. If I hit search again, you will see it brings up all of the contacts again that are in the EMMA system. So this QRG goes into detail with accompanying pictures for each method to search. So I'm going to quickly show you but if I were to type groom, short for grooming, under keyword and hit search, it brings up all of the training contracts that have been created with that as part of the title. And I've done a lot of grooming contracts recently in the training environment. For contracting entity, if we remove that from keywords and go to contracting entity, it becomes a drop down. If you don't see the agency you're looking for right away, you can start typing a couple of letters that will pull it up, or you can click see all at the bottom of the menu. This will give you a full list of the contracting entities within Emma, and you can search and click on the boxes next to, next to the entities to narrow your search. So I work for the Department of General Services. If I click MDDGS and hit search, it pulls up all of the contracts that are in EMMA that have been done by DGS. The same process for, that we used for contracting entity is for procurement officer, buyer, and the vendor field. So if we know that we're searching for projects by me, I start typing my name, I can see all of the Amandas that are procurement officers and buyers in the EMMA system and I can search from there. If I don't see my name pulled up right away, I can click see all and start typing my name here and click search. 
and see all of the Amandas that are in the system this way as well. And you can see there are 75 results, so lots of Amandas in the system. This also pulls up vendors as well as buyers, so be aware of that. If I wanted to search by vendor, it's the same as the entity, contracting entity or procurement officer. I can type starting a name from looking for Smoochies Poochies, or I can select see all, and I can search for it this way by keyword or commodity code even. There are other filters that are more specific and those can be accessed by selecting the filter funnel icon to the left of the screen. Mine was already open, but I'm gonna close it to show you what that filter looks like. Right here, there's a little funnel picture and if you select that, it pulls up additional search options in a side panel. If you wish the panel to stay open throughout your search, you can click this push pin button in the upper right corner and it will remain there. To close the side panel, you would click the push pin again, but I'm going to leave it open right now. So as you can see, there are several more specific options to filter your searches. They are by public or private contracts, by alerts, you can click on it and see all the different alerts that might pop up when you're putting a contract through. They are by date range or notification range. They're by date status, which could be draft or active or expiring soon or expired. You can also go by contract scope if it's a statewide contract, the organization it applied to, maybe the commodity code that was used to put your contract into place. And then there's another, one more column here under headers, and it could be the status of the contract. Is it published or is it in approval process still? The contract type, if it was an individual or a secondary level competition. The not to exceed amount value of your contract. Uh, one of the team members that was on the contract. Maybe one of the contract tabs, if it was new or green or a discount. And there are four checkboxes at the bottom also for DB Eagle, Federal Funding, SB Eagle, or VSB Eagle. So you can see there are lots of ways to filter your searches to find what you're looking for in browse contracts. If you run into any problems, you can rewatch this video, read through the QRGs, or reach out to emma.helpdesk at maryland.gov for assistance. Thanks and have a great day.